Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me for the week of March 23rd through the 29th. I'm working backwards a little bit. I already filmed and did a plan with me on the next week which is the blush edit week. So I'm going out of order but it's fine. These are memory planning spreads. It really doesn't matter what order I go into anyway. So for this week I'm going to be using the kit called Homebody. This is a beautiful stay at home collection. It's very neutral and very gorgeous. This was the week that we were in quarantine in Nashville and it was the week that the COVID stuff was starting to get really scary. I would say this was probably the most anxious week of all of it. I wasn't yet at my family's house, but we were kind of hearing about it a lot in the news and it was really stressful. So this was kind of a calming kit that I wanted to use for that week. So I'll run through the sheets. I did pick the Lux for myself, so I won't be using the check boxes. I'll put those aside, but everything else I am going to be using. And I'm gonna do this plan with me like the blush edit one and just kind of ramble through it. I'm not gonna do any voiceover and hopefully it won't be too boring or too long for you guys. I also have the Fashion Girls for this collection. They are extra gorgeous. I'm gonna be using the blonde one. I have the glitter headers, of course. I have the label add-on in case I need it. I'm not sure I'm gonna need it, but if I do, I have my um, pictures that I'm going to put in this spread and then I have my custom scripts in silver and I pulled one of my binder sheets. This is the silver chunky glitter and this is available on my shop. It has a bunch of different box sizes so you have full boxes, half boxes, third boxes, headers, and half headers. So this is perfect for making your background all glittery. So those are the items that I have for this collection and we are just going to jump right into it. So I'm getting really excited about the new planner starting and just kind of having like a fresh start in my planner. I don't know, I've been loving this planner. I don't really wanna like leave it for another planner but I just always feel like within the planner community when the new planners start in July is like almost like a New Year's. Like it's like a fresh time to like start again if you've been kind of slacking on your spreads you can kind of take advantage of it and start again and I always have like big dreams for my new planners I'm like I'm gonna do every single spread right when I like right on time I'm not gonna do anything like months later and it never really happens that way because you know life but I always think that it will <laughs> So I have big dreams for the new planner. I'm super excited about it. And I actually have this like mini series, video series idea that I'm thinking about potentially doing on this channel that would be like just tons and tons of shorter videos showing like literally for beginners. Like for people who have never sticker plans but they want to, but they don't know where to begin. Cause I feel like, okay, when I, first got into this community, kits weren't even a thing yet. Everything was very piecemealed. And because of that, it was very like, you could just do whatever you want. And of course you can still do whatever you want, obviously. But I feel like now there's definitely like a way that most people plan. Like it's like specific, especially like for me specifically, like all of my spreads are like pretty much done the same way. And I feel like it's really overwhelming for people who have never done it before and like they don't even know where to start. I get emails all the time from people that are just like, I literally don't even know where to begin. Like I don't even know what planner to get. I don't know even how to start. Like I wanna get into this, but I just don't know how. So I'm thinking about doing a series that's like glam planning for the most beginner beginners in the world. And for the series, I purchased um, a happy planner classic. I got myself a new vertical weekly from Erin Condren because I decided I wanted a black coil. I know I ordered the rose gold as my PR planner and I was really excited about it and I did think that I was going to stick with rose gold but the more I thought about it the more I knew that I would just miss my black coil because well okay so the reason was is because in that new release PR video I used the 4th of July collection as my whoops, sorry that was my hard drive I hope I didn't just kill it I used the 4th of July collection as my like example collection and it clashes with the rose gold coil so much that I was just like, I can't. So that's gonna be my like faux planner, like my, if I'm doing mock spreads or whatever. And then I got a black coil one that's gonna be my real planner. And 
that was really exciting. I also am going to potentially do some videos on um, reorganizing, like decluttering and reorganizing my stash and possibly some plan with me's in my inserts. I haven't done that in a really long time. My inserts have, have been like really annoying because um, I just feel like they always sell out. They're never available. They're hard to make. So we have, I actually have not trained the um, King Sport team on how to make them yet because they're just complicated. My California team always had problems with them, but I kind of want to redesign my inserts and like bring them back in like a full capacity and have them all the time. I've been saying that for a long time, so I don't know if it's actually going to happen. My family is down at the pool right now and I went down and had a pool day with them yesterday. We spent the whole day in the pool and it was a great time but I told them I was like you know tomorrow I'm gonna have to have a filming day this is actually the third video that I've filmed um, sitting here and I have like two more that I want to do because I really I don't have like endless opportunities to film because James has gotten to an age where I cannot film with him underfoot he just doesn't settle he wants to get into everything he wants to be on my lap he wants to be he wants me to pay attention to him like it just doesn't really work I need whiteouts so it's been a struggle I told my family yesterday like I'm gonna have a pool day Saturday but Sunday I need to film videos and they were like okay that's fine and then of course today they were giving me a hard time about it which I would love to be out at the pool right now but I have been wanting to do these videos like all week and I've been thinking about it and like when I'm in the mood I love videos like I love them like it is I want to do videos more than anything else and that's kind of how I'm feeling right now so I'm gonna do this and then if they're still in the pool and I'm done with all the videos that I want to film then I might go out there but we'll see this morning my mom cooked an amazing brunch which she doesn't do every weekend. It's definitely like a special thing when she does it. It was so good. We had bacon and pancakes and fruit salad and it was delicious. I think there was sausage there was supposed to be, but I'm pretty sure my dad ate it all before the rest of us got downstairs because I could smell sausage and sausage is usually on the menu for brunch and it's my dad's favorite food. So I'm just putting the pieces together and I think that, that might've been what happens. So that was really, really good. My mom's sister is actually in town and she's gonna be staying with us for a while. She's gonna be here for probably through the summer. And it's really exciting because it's just like, there's just so many people here. This is like, it's a really like fun time to be here as a group. All my sisters are here. Alex is here. My aunt is here. My grandmother's here, so. It's just, we're like having a really good time and taking advantage of the fact that we are all able to like be here and not necessarily be working like out of the house, you know, like we're all able to be here. It's really nice. So, um, whenever my mom's sister is here, they cook a ton. My aunt actually used to own a bakery, so she's like... She's a not only an amazing cook, but it's like her passion. So they literally do nothing but cook when they're together. So it's been like nonstop feast and brunches and ugh, so good. Yesterday at the pool day, um, they made like homemade potato salad and they made these like grilled ham and cheese like melts on Hawaiian rolls. And it was just, ugh, it was decadent. It was so good. Little James absolutely loves the pool and he has like a little swim float that he likes to hang out in. I have a picture of it that I'm going to put in the spread for like the current week that we're in, but he just, he loves it. Um, so for here, I did a little scene of the RV because we were actually packing the RV to go to my parents' house during this weekend, but I made them like not full sized. That way I have room for like functional stickers up here. So they're kind of like two thirds box stickers just to give me a little bit more room to like put in what we were doing those days. One of the perks of doing like your own photo stickers. In my last plan with me, which was the blush edit one, I talked about some books that I 
was reading and I got a lot of positive feedback from that. You guys were like, it's like a glitterature in a plan with me. And some people messaged me asking me um, what they were again, like after they watched it so they could download it. So I do have more recommendations for you guys. I do read um, books pretty much every single day. My bracelet like indented my hand here and it looks like really strange, but it's just like where my, where the like screw of the bracelet was like against my hand. Um, okay, so I found a new author and I'm on her fourth book already since the last time I did a plan with me. I read about a book every night. Sometimes it takes me two nights to get through a book depending on how long it is, but pretty much I'm at this point in my life, I'm going through a book a day. And I have the Kindle Unlimited app and I pretty much just, like each book that I read at the end of the book, it tells you like recommended books to read next. And I pretty much just read through the recommended books. Like each book I pick the next book based on what's recommended. And I found so many books that way that I would probably never have found otherwise. But I found this new author and her name is, I'm blanking, Frida something, Frida McFadden. Yes, Frida McFadden, and there's my dad on the piano. He can be counted on to serenade you guys every single video. Even though when I started this video, he was happily at the pool. He is now at the piano, and he might have stopped because he might hear me filming and feels bad, but he shouldn't. He should just serenade away. No, nope, he's still playing. Um, okay, so her name is Frida McFadden, and the book that was recommended to me that I read first, which got me hooked on her, is called The Wife Upstairs. And it's a psychological thriller, so if those kinds of books excite you, then you're gonna like this book. It was so good, I could not put it down. I binged it. And then I read um, The Surrogate, and then I read The Perfect Son, and now I'm currently reading The X. I'm about halfway through it, so. She's definitely good, but The Wife Upstairs, I would say probably is my favorite one of the four that I've read. They're all worth reading though. It's about this girl who gets hired to be the caretaker of this guy's wife who had been in a terrible accident. She fell down the stairs and she was basically like paralyzed on one side of her body and she like, her mental sanity was like not there anymore. And she basically just like lived in a wheelchair and looked out the window for her whole life. But her husband wanted to hire like a caretaker slash friend to come and basically like keep her company all the time so that she wasn't lonely, which was like really nice, right? Um, she had a nurse taking care of her medical needs, but she just like needed someone to just keep her company and be her friend. So this girl gets hired and she goes and she like moves in. She's a live-in caretaker she moves into this mansion and it's like a very like gothic like kind of weird creepy man mansion and she thinks her boss is like so hot like apparently the husband of this wife is like so hot and so sweet and so nice and like wants to like keep taking care of his wife even though she's basically a vegetable and he could have her in a nursing home but or like a care facility but he wants to keep her in the house and like have this woman take care of her like he just seems like the perfect guy right well if you've ever read a psychological thriller then you know that that is probably what uh ends up happening in the book it's so good you i'm not going to give anything away that's all i'm going to say about it all i will say is that when you think you figured out the twist you haven't and that happens like four times. I've never read a book with so many twists that I literally did not see coming. Like I thought I knew what the twist was gonna be and I didn't. So it's so good. I definitely recommend it. I mean, like I said, it's so good that I ended up reading three more books of hers after. And I'm honestly, I'm probably just gonna keep reading like all of her books. So I am going to just start putting down my half cut headers so that I don't have to do it as much like during the spread here, I put a script that says lots of feelings, anxious about COVID. This was, like I said, the week where um, it just kind of started getting more scary. Um, we were contemplating this week whether we wanted to actually go to my parents' house or if we wanted to go to Alex's parents' house or if we wanted to just sit tight and wait. We really didn't know like what we wanted to do. 
We talked about it a lot. We contemplated for a long time. It, it felt like it was all we were talking about is like, should we stay? Should we go? Should we go to Wisconsin? Should we go to Kingsport? Like whose parents' house should we go to? Obviously we could have just stayed in our house in Nashville, but that wasn't like our top choice. We would have rather gone and like met up with one of the bigger family groups because we didn't know how long this was going to, ha to last. And at that point, Tennessee wasn't in a lockdown yet. So we were gonna be able to make the decision to travel if we wanted to. We had been self quarantining already. And we didn't know if Tennessee was gonna go under a mandatory lockdown, which it did end up doing later on that weekend or no, the next week. But um, it was just, I think it was like the unknown more than anything. So we finally decided to come to my parents' house and we've been there since, but this was the week that we were like discussing it. We were anxious about it. The news was just going crazy about everything with COVID and it was just really kind of like getting scary. So the first thing I'm gonna put on Monday is, I love that you guys are just being serenaded. I'm gonna do a fancy label, a half box and a quarter box. I'm gonna do the lighter half box actually. Okay, so the first thing I'm putting for Monday is Need Coffee. You guys know that's pr I pretty much put that every single time because I am a coffee addict, especially on Mondays. I always, I've been trying in my spreads lately. If there's a box that has a coffee cup in it, I'm trying to put it like up here on Monday because I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it needs it the most. Okay, so I'm gonna put half headers in between. just to give a little bit of silver sparkle in behind these boxes. Put this one in the middle. I didn't pull my characters, so I'm gonna have to do that um, after the fact, like on the ones that I wanna add characters to. So like for Needs Coffee, I, I'm i gonna put a character next to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the script down and do that. I'll do that after. I usually um, pull them ahead of time, but I didn't today. And then I'm putting um, shipped all glitch orders on this day. We had had a glitch sale the week before, I think, the weekend before. So we got all of those orders shipped. And then I prepped the next 300 orders. You guys have been killing it with orders. Like we have not been this backed up with orders in a long time. And that's a great thing, especially right now with, like I'm so glad that I decided to stay open because I really wasn't sure if I should with everything happening. We ended up letting the girls work from home. And I honestly think that um, you guys are like supporting me extra right now, like because of that. So if that's the case and that's true, I really, really, really appreciate it. And the girls appreciate it. Like we've been able to continue keeping everyone on their full-time hours and they have been working from home as a team and it's been really, really good. So you guys have been amazing thank you so much and um yeah so we've been like on a roll we've been trying to ship at full capacity and we're still barely getting through the orders on time which is amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and put these little icons down on my um appointment labels here i'm gonna put that i did a customer service cash clear out but like i said in my last plan with me i've been really good with my customer service lately and have not been kind of having to clear the cash a lot because I've just been keeping it going, which is awesome. So I'm gonna put, let's see, this one here. And I'm still not ready to use this one because it's the same color. So I'm gonna use this one again, this lighter color. And we'll do it, I'm gonna do it in the middle. So I'm gonna do a fancy label in the dark color to balance it out. And then half cut headers. So I'm planning on reformatting my binder bundles for the next foil order, just to get like, you know, 10 or 20 more foils in like a slightly updated format so that it's not the same. And I'm thinking about doing more half headers. And I wanted to know what you guys thought about that because right now we have all of these are half headers. These are regular headers. I'm thinking about doing um, 
Well, actually I might leave those and I might do half of these like third boxes as half headers again or something just to give more. Cause I feel like that's what I use the most. And I don't know if you guys are the same. I actually probably didn't need to put them in between there because there's barely no room in there. And then I'm going to do another fancy label. I'll do the medium color. Yeah. So here I really only needed to do one half header instead of one on each side like that. That's what I should have done on this side, but it's fine. So then here I'm going to put that I cleared the cache of the customer service. I don't know why I have that, why I wanted to write that down twice, but whatever. And then I took a long walk with James. We were on quarantine during this week, so we were staying at home and we weren't going anywhere. So I was making sure to take James on walks every single day so that he didn't get stir crazy. And I think I have that in a vlog. One of the walks that we did this week, I have, I think I was filming one of the days. And then I'm kind of going out of order, but I just wanted to go ahead and put emails there. So then up at the top, we're going to do, I'm gonna do one of these washi strips and a patterned half box. Mix it up a little bit. I'll do this one and then the dark box. So this one's not gonna have any half headers because I think that these are gonna fill it up all the way if I just put them right on top of one another. Oop, actually, you know what? There's enough room for one in there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna put is morning snuggles. I hate filming these so far like forward from when it happens. Cause I can't remember like if James wasn't feeling well or if we were just like kind of having a lazy morning, I don't remember, but we must've stayed in bed snuggling more than normal. And then we shipped the 300 orders that we had prepped the night before. And then I spent the rest of the morning, early afternoon designing the next sub collection, which I'm a couple of months ahead. So I think I designed June or July on this day. And then I did emails and then I planned out my mini series for my main channel. I did a mini series where I posted a video every single day for five days straight. I didn't film it until Thursday, but I started planning it out on this day and like trying to figure out what five videos I wanted to do. Cause I knew that I was going to have to do them all in one sitting. Cause I didn't have a ton of filming time this week. And then I'm putting that I did a speed clean of the house. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, I uploaded my toddler capsule wardrobe video. And then I just remember a little bit of this day. I remember James was being nuts. He was in a very, very um, stir crazy mood. He just could not be tamed. Like nothing was making him happy. We played outside for hours. We got him some sidewalk chalk, which he I think might be a little too young for because I do not think he understood the concept of it. He spent his time lining up the chalks instead of actually using it to color anything. But we just tried to keep him outside as much as possible. We gave him a really, really long bath and gave him a ton of toys in there and just let him like splash around for as long as he wanted. We tried to feed him a ton of food so that he would, you know, calm down and want to sleep. He did not nap on this day, I remember. So I put toddler capsule and then I'm going to put wrangling toddler. <laughs> the whole day was just us running around trying to make him not fussy, but he was just very fussy. And then I'm going to put James is stir crazy. That was that day. You know what? Sometimes as a parent, your days are not um, very productive. And that was one of those days. Also, Alex was working that day. I mean, he works every day, but I remember that day one of the things that made it extra hard was it was just me wrangling him and he was just in such a mood. So that is the first page. I do have to add a couple of characters, which I will do after I'm done with the spread because I have to pull out my character binder. Oh, you know what? On this day, I did want to use a checkbox, which I put this away because I like never use these checkboxes, but on this day, I wanted to. I'm so excited to be using one of these. So this is gonna go right here. 
and this is the day that I filmed my mini series and so I wrote down the five videos that I filmed because I didn't want to do five filming trackers that was just gonna be crazy and I thought that this checkbox list was perfect so I filmed 17 magazine internship baby names I love but probably won't use when I got the worst room in my sorority house my most embarrassing moment and when I broke my back so if you're interested in watching any of those videos and you haven't yet those are all over on my main channel L Fowler next I'm gonna do a quarter box and then I'm going to do a fancy label at the bottom and I'm going to do half headers on either side of the half box. So on this day, I spent the entire day filming videos. It took me about eight hours of sitting there to film the five videos. Back when I was doing YouTube, like full time before the sticker shop, sometimes I would film like three videos in a day, but filming five back to back like that, it was a lot. So I'm gonna put that I filmed all day and Alex took care of James and it was really nice. It was also like good timing because the day before had been so hard with James. It was just like one of those days where it was just hard to be a mama. Um, and so it was kind of nice. I got like my little, my little me time. So then I put that I was having a back ache and I had to put a heating pad on my back. That doesn't happen very often anymore, but that day, I think because I sat in a video or in a chair filming videos for eight hours, my back was really hurting afterwards. And then Alex made beef stroganoff for dinner. It was so good. I'm going to put a character sticker here. I actually have a kiss my ass back ache sticker that's not been released yet on the shop that will be perfect for this. So you guys are gonna get a sneak peek. It hasn't been released yet, but I guess I'll just go ahead and have to have it release this coming week since you guys are now seeing it, but it's just too perfect for me not to use during this spread. I'm gonna go ahead and put my dates up here. I'm gonna do these dots across the top too while I'm thinking about it. My mom just called and like got me out of my planning flow and she wanted to know if I'd eaten the cheese ball and I was like no. <laughs> she was like someone ate the cheese ball I can't find it and then she had to call me back to tell me that she found the cheese ball in the fridge. Now mind you she knows I'm filming. She knows because the whole reason why I couldn't go to the pool with the rest of the family is because I wanted to be able to like get this done today and I know tomorrow I might not have anyone be able to watch James and I just needed to get this done. I just ran out of dots. Usually I have more dots than that, that's fine. So anyway, you guys, if you were worried about the cheese ball, it has been found. So then I'm gonna do a special box for this next one because it was one of my best friends in the entire world it was her birthday so I wanted to mark that her name's Brittany I actually talk about her in one of the videos that I filmed on this day the worst room in my sorority house video she was my roommate and then she became my roommate we stayed roommates throughout the rest of college so we lived together for three years and she is still to this day one of my very very best friends like love her then I'm gonna do a quarter box and you know what I think I'm gonna do see because I'm gonna do deco on one side so I might just do one of these appointment labels so that I don't have to crack into the label add-on because I think I'm not gonna need it for this kit you guys get to see my brain think through these things when I'm doing these videos so okay I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna put some deco on it so I'm gonna put that I designed on this day and then underneath it, I'm gonna do a kit restock. So this week I decided not to do new releases and instead I restocked some sold out collections that had been highly requested to come back. I think Sunflower Soiree was one of them and um, Stargazer and there might've been a couple more. I posted them on Facebook. So I'm just doing this deco sticker that has like a laptop and a journal and a pen. And then down here, I'm gonna put that I gave Alex a haircut. <laughs> Poor boy was like in desperate need of a haircut. And he is someone who goes to get his haircut on schedule, like doesn't miss it, 
hates when it's not done when he wants it to be done and because we were on um, self-isolation quarantine he wasn't able to get it done and he was not a happy boy so this night I decided to help him with his hair and together we gave him a haircut that actually he liked so much that he now wants me to do his hair for the rest of history and time which I am okay with and I think that's really cute so I'm gonna put I don't you know I was gonna put like a haircut character sticker here but I don't think that I have one not one that would work like for a guy that might be an idea that I need to do I'm just gonna put this oh I'll do like a here I'll do this I'll do these glasses I used to always put on my spreads when Alex was involved. And I might, if I have a hair icon, do I? I don't think I do. I do, I have like a blow dryer, that works. And it's the right color, wow! Okay, that was just perfect. Then I'm going to put that I edited these, put that here, and then I edited the first three videos of my mini series so that they could be scheduled and ready to go up the next week. I wanted to have them done ahead of time so that there was no reason that they couldn't go up on time and that silver really pops against the dark color there. And then for this day, I ended up, I'm gonna do what I did with this one where I'm gonna cover it with um, a sticker and just use this extra appointment label. I'm really like getting my use out of this and then I'm gonna do half headers. You know what, the more I use these sheets, the more I realize I do need more half headers on these sheets. And I don't wanna give up the headers in case you guys put them over, which I might actually do during the spread. I don't normally do that, but maybe I will. Um, but I think I will get rid of some of the third boxes because I think those will probably be used the least. So for here, I'm gonna put that I did a laundry for days. This was, we were starting to prep and pack to go to Kingsport. We had decided by this point that we were definitely gonna go and we started the process of packing. I thought we were gonna be on the road by Sunday. I talk about this in the blush edit plan with me. If you haven't seen that one, you should watch it because we ended up not leaving until this night and we packed the whole time starting on this day. I don't know how it took so long, but it did. So then I'm gonna use my last pattern half box. And I'm gonna put that I cleaned out the fridge. Cause again, we knew we were going for probably a while. Like we decided if we were gonna do this, if we were gonna pack up all of Alex's work stuff, which that was totally up to him. I told him like, we can go for a week and see how things are. And he was like, no, we're gonna go for the whole summer. So I still don't know if we're actually gonna be here through the summer, but he seems to think we are, so that might change. Um, I cleaned out the fridge, made sure that we weren't leaving anything in there that was gonna spoil the freezer too. And then I'm gonna put the rest of the videos that I finished editing and scheduling on this night. Everything was ready to go again. I thought we were leaving the next day, so I wanted to make sure everything was ready going into like I didn't want to leave anything for Sunday because I was like oh we're gonna be on the road and I want the videos to go up on Monday and little did I know that come Monday come Tuesday we would still be there but that is my husband for you so then I'm just putting edited these and I'm gonna put the last two videos plus I uploaded all of them and scheduled them for release and then on this last little spot here, I'm just gonna put that I packed all day. That was literally the last thing I do. I have one last quarter box available. I used all of the boxes on this page, not the rounded half boxes, but the other ones. And I used all the boxes on this page, the functional boxes. So I'll do half headers again. I was convinced we were gonna get on the road this day. Spoiler alert, did not happen. I was ready to go, James was ready to go, it was just Alex. So pack all day. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull out my character stickers and do what needs to be done with these spots that I left for 
characters. I'm going to use this Kisma and Ass coffee sticker for the first need coffee. And I'm going to use my Teeny and Bop birthday sticker here for Brittany's birthday. And I'm just going to use the Bop actually with the little balloons. Um, I would use Bippity's version for this, but I don't have it up here because Brittany's a brunette, so she's a Bippity. And she has a dog, so she really is a Bippity. But um, I don't have it up here, so we'll just do that. For prepped 300 orders, I'm going to do one of this Kisma working stickers. Um, I like Kisma especially for this spread because the colors are so neutral. And one of the things about Kisma that I love is that she's so neutral, she'll go with any spread. Um, and then this is the backache one that's unreleased, but I will go ahead and get this on the release schedule for next week now that you guys are seeing it. So I'm going to use her for my backache day. And that is it for character stickers. So here we go. This is the spread. I'll give you guys a close up look. So pretty. This was James actually leaning over my shoulder. Like I was laying in bed against the headboard. He kind of like stood and got behind me and then like tried to somersault off my shoulder. This is my face over here and this is him being nuts. But I thought the picture was really cute. And then this is this side. This is our RV that we were packing on those days. So yeah, that was the spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a lot of videos coming for you guys. I literally am filming all day today for this channel. So get excited and I'll see you guys at the next one. Goodbye.